Today we are going to making a present for my teacher, Miss Embling. I am making a pencil box, so I need to take some measurements. It will be the same shape of a hexagon, so my dad needs to figure out the angles to cut the wood. As you can see, the angle of the hexagon is 120 degrees. Half of that is 60 degrees, which we need later. We are going to be making this from some ash wood my grandpa gave us. The table saw is pretty dangerous, so my dad will be making all of the cuts. At least I can turn it on for him. For the first cuts are to make sure each section is correct with. Next, we need to tip the blade 60 degrees or 30 degrees from 90. Whatever it makes the right angle, sorry, the correct angle. The next cut is done to put a slot in the wood so that we can put the ends on a box. My dad's finger looks close to the blade, but it's not. The safety inspector, I made sure he was being careful. After all the pieces are cut, we need to figure out how to make the ends. We put sides together with some paper tape and rolled them up. Then we traced the shape of the hexagon. We used a little trick with a washer to get the lines a little closer to the center so that end pieces fit in the slot. Then my dad cuts out these pieces on a bandsaw. Ugh, snow! Anna, how do you like our April? How about some sanding? It's time to sand the inside of my box. It's easier to do it before we assemble the box. I'm going to do that now. It's not one of my favorite jobs. After sanding inside, it's time to glue up. My dad made the end of the box a little too big, so we struggled to get it together. My dad wasn't too happy. We had stopped the camera. He gets easily frustrated. Well, when the glue dried, we were able to cut the box in half. My dad did the cutting and some sanding to get everything flat. Since it didn't go together well the first place, dad took some thin pieces of wood to cover up the edges where he cut them. He said that you're going to make mistakes with woodworking. It's all fixing those mistakes. I got to drill some holes for the magnets that will hold the box together. These were strong little magnets. We glued them in place and then to the epoxy. We wanted to make a secret spot for Miss Embling to keep things, so we we're going to cast some pencils in epoxy resin. First, we need to make form to pour the epoxy and we're glued together some plastic pieces ah, form we're using hot glue to hold everything together we, then we need to glue each of the pencils in place uh, in the form Using total boat epoxy, it's a little stinky, but it works really well. Dad said total boat is awesome. They even sent sweet gloves for me. After a few days the epoxy was dry, we could take apart the form. Pretty cool. The last steps are to finish the box. We need First, we need to do the final sanding. Next, we spray the box yellow. This is the point in the project where my grandpa sheds a tear. Sorry, grandpa. Just a few finishing touches on this box to make it look more like a pencil. I'll start with the pink eraser on one end. The last part of the label on the pencil. 
The most important part is to fill the secret compartment with some of Miss Embling's favorite candy. I may have sampled some, but don't tell anyone. I had lots of fun building this, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Special thanks to Miss Embling for all the her hard work during this coronavirus. She's an amazing teacher and going to miss having her next year. Thanks for watching.